The UCD Conway Institute celebrates its 10th birthday in 2013. Ten years ago, the Conway was founded as a hub for interdisciplinary collaborations, which was a really, really revolutionary idea at this time. The recipe is very simple. You take bright people, put them in the same spot, and let them be creative. And that works every time, and the Conway Institute is a good example that it has worked and it continues to be working. Biology has really been transformed by the application of this high throughput big machines method. So we can generate huge amounts of data now. And the Conway can generate this data. We actually have cutting edge equipment and research facilities to do this. But where the Conway is particularly good is actually making use of this data and interpreting and finding the function in this data. And for this we use methods from computing and from mathematics. What's happening today in biology is there's a massive explosion in the amount of data that's been generated. This is happening particularly in areas that I work with, in areas of genomics. So, for example, sequencing the human genome, which was completed first in 2003, was a huge milestone for biology. The genome is made up of letters, and if you try and read a human genome, it would take about 30 years to read one single human genome. And we're now generating that amount of data every single day. So what we need is um, students and scientists who can interpret that data, who can find patterns in it, who can analyse it. The PhD programme in Computational Infection Biology at UCD is quite unique in that we take students and we train them both in laboratory-based science and also in bioinformatics or computational-based science. And at the same time as they're spending time in the laboratory, they're also attending courses so they learn how to programme or they learn how to work at the bench and they learn how to apply these to large questions in biology and particularly to large questions in infection biology, looking at the origins of infectious disease. My lab here in UCD carries out uh, bioinformatics research. In bioinformatics, one of the main sources of innovation is to take something from one field, such as mathematics or physics or computer science, and apply it in another field, in this case, in biology. The longest running project that I've been involved in uh, dates back to the 1980s, and it involves a, a program called Clustel, which is to align uh, DNA or protein sequences with each other, which you have to do to compare the sequences. Sequences being DNA sequences, uh, as they come from genome projects, or protein sequences. We invented uh, a method for doing this quickly and simply on PCs, on personal computers. And this allowed the program to be used by researchers in labs and, and in industry all around the world. One easy way to measure usage of something like Clustel is to measure how often they get cited in the scientific li literature. And recently we went over the 100,000 mark, where we now have over 100,000 uh, citations for Clustel. And it's now the, the worldwide standard for this type of an analysis. So it's, it's used in, in, in laboratories everywhere. Ireland really prides itself of being a knowledge-based economy. And uh, if you look around, knowledge-based economies are the economies of the future and the ones who generate success and wealth. But where does knowledge come from? Knowledge comes from research and from education. And the Conway is playing a big part in the contribution to research, which then can be applied to medicine, to healthcare, to industry. Uh, but Conway also generates graduates, PhDs, postdocs, who then can go and actually fill these critical jobs in a knowledge-based industry.